Between aging and busy lifestyles, many women struggle with maintaining their physical and mental wellness. At Aquavita Concierge Healthcare Services for Women, we can help you revitalize your health and reclaim your life. We start from within by balancing your hormones, allowing your body to achieve and maintain desired weight goals. We also specialize in peptide therapies, regenerative medicine, sexual health, and aesthetics in our state-of-the-art facilities. Feel better, look better, live better. At Aquavita, visit aquavitality.com and begin your journey today. Selling your car to Carvana is as easy as... As easy as pie? Sure. All you have to do is enter your license plate or VIN. As easy as a stroll in the park. Okay. Then just answer a few questions and you'll get a real offer in seconds. As easy as singing. Why not? Schedule a pickup or drop-off and Carvana will pay you that amount right on the spot. As easy as playing guitar. Actually, I find that kind of difficult. But selling your car to Carvana is as easy as... Can be. Visit Carvana.com or download the app to get an instant offer today. Welcome to Pretty Lies and Alibis. Join us as we seek the truth and travel the long road to justice. Hi, everybody. It's Thursday. We're a day late, but we're here. What's good, Fruit Loop? Krispy Kreme donuts. Oh, my gosh. I just finished my second one. Uh, yeah, they oh, were hot, too. They were so good. Yeah, they were. The hot sign was on. So just a little forewarning. If you hear kids screaming, we are not torturing anybody here. <laughs> we have a friend who had to have some emergency surgery, and her husband works a lot, so she needed some help uh recovering and with her kids so we have six adults or six big people and two toddlers all staying in my house now for how many days yeah it's since um uh, m- m- tuesday yeah, yeah it's but it's been fun we've had a lot of fun fruit loop's been hanging out sleeping over too yeah so yeah. it's just kind of been like a big camp over here oh yeah so yeah if you hear kids screaming uh that's we, it yeah that's them so Sherlock has taken on a new persona. Oh my gosh, he's such a little lover. He's so sweet. And calm. All those little testosterone hormones are gone. And he is the most chill cat. I love it. Yeah. I'm so in love with this cat right now. Yeah, yeah. he's. I was like, he's just, he's different. He yeah. really is. Yeah. He's very cuddly and just much more chill and uh, sleeps all the time now. <laughs> he goes out on the deck every now and then, but he stays in now. He doesn't really feel like he needs to wander. Yeah. So that's good. Yeah. So you got a new ride. Oh, yes. I got my Jeep. I posted a picture of it. I was so proud. Oh, it's sweet. It is a blacked out Jeep Wrangler Sahara Altitude Edition 2021. And I am just tempted to sleep in it and, and not because I have toddlers in the house. Yeah. Maybe I because would. I have toddlers there in the you house. Go. That's right. <laughs> I could let those seats <laughs> down and sprawl out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cause I wake up at four in the morning if I hear a kid and I'm thinking, you know, when you first wake up, I'm like, oh my gosh, my baby's crying. <laughs> you yeah. know how I am when I first wake up. Yeah. That goes along with your, uh, your um, procedure the other day. Yes. When you thought you had a kid. So, yeah. If you wake me up the first 60 seconds, I'm not responsible for what I say or do. Yes. Yeah. So, as far as we know, the grand jury um, should have wrapped up today. Yeah. And so now the clock's ticking. Yes. Yeah, so we're waiting. I kind of think maybe tomorrow yep. we might hear charges because they can all go home for the weekend. The defense, the prosecution, um, they're not going to be in their office having to answer calls and field requests for statements and all that stuff. I've always heard Fridays are a good day to drop big charges. So we shall see. Yep. So just a few quick things. And this is going to be a relatively quick little episode, more of a chew in the fat thing. And the Fifth Amendment in the Bill of Rights says no person shall be held for held to answer for a capital or otherwise infamous crime unless on a pre- presentiment. I didn't read presentment. Pre- thank you. Yep. Or indictment of a grand jury. So a lot of people that a couple of misconceptions that I want to clear up real quick. I've seen a lot of people comment that Nate and Heather Daybell are going to be testifying. Remember. They are going to be testifying at that change of venue hearing, not the grand jury. Yes. This is all super secret. We're not even really supposed to know the grand jury is meeting about these charges, but Court TV is the one that broke it, saying they had several unnamed sources. Yeah, see, I I wanted to camp out and see who's going in and out. Yeah, well, 
some of the locals say there are a lot of cars at the courthouse. There's no media. Um, yep. But technically, the media is not supposed to know about this. And I think that Nate uh, would be very respectful of the secrecy of the grand jury. He certainly doesn't want to do anything to um, to put this in jeopardy. And I think all the other local outlets obviously are doing the same. Yeah. But only Court TV has confirmed or have have said we haven't heard anything from Nate Eaton or Justin Lum or any of those guys. And um, but. As far as we know, it it should be over with. Yep. So what about uh, indicting? How does that work, Fruit Loop? So grand juries almost um, always indict people. It's like the high, it's high percentage, what, 98, 99%? Yeah. Um, and what is that? You're the little saying, grand juries will indict a ham sandwich? Right. And, and it's just to err on the side of caution. Um the prosecutor isn't going to put everything out there. Um, they're going to put enough to make sure they get that murder indictment. But it's pretty rare that grand juries don't indict. And you know what I read today that was interesting? In the John Bonet Ramsey case, a grand jury voted to indict the mother, and the prosecutor did not honor that. Oh, wow. He chose not to bring charges. Now, we know Rob Wood will. Or if we don't even know if it's Rob Wood who called this. It could have been the Fremont County yeah. prosecutor. Yep. We're not sure yet, but for the most part, they usually indict. And we know as of a couple of weeks ago, they're testing DNA on tools found in Chad's shed and then the possible blood found in the apartment. There's so much about this case we do not know. There's not going to be a whole lot that the prosecutor has to put forward to convince these people that there needs to be an indictment. Remember, it's majority rules. It's not unanimous like a regular jury yeah. in a criminal trial. So you have to put stuff out there to prove that there need to be charges filed. It's just not such a high burden yeah. on the prosecutor. Yep. And there's he doesn't have to deal with prior means. Right. There's no judge, no prosecutors. They yeah. The grand jury can subpoena witnesses. And I wonder, did they subpoena Zulema or anybody? Yeah. We don't know because yeah. it's all done very secret. And I would be sure they would take great pains to hide any witness this call for this. Oh, yeah. Um, it's all very secret. We're not supposed to even know they're meeting. Um, and, but it's just word gets out sometimes. Yep. Um, so I predict tomorrow, if not, maybe at some point next week, but it's usually not, um, I read something from somebody who, who was on a grand jury for a very big trial, a very big criminal trial. And, um, she said it took a couple of days, two to three days before they actually announced the indictment. So then I've read two to four weeks. Although I think at this point, if, if they get the indictment, why not announce it? Yeah. Why you've held on to it this long. So why not go ahead and just. Go yeah. with it. I have a hundred percent faith that we will get murder charges out of this easily, if not conspiracy to commit murder. We don't know. We, you know, we always assume Alex killed the kids. We don't know that. Exactly. We do not know that Lori or Chad or both or all three of them didn't kill these kids. Yeah. And, and we know Tammy. It obviously had to have been Chad. Yeah. I mean, we all the all the information we have we based on the preliminary with Chad. Right. So we based that on they pinged Alex's phone and all that other stuff that came with that. But so I was laying in bed last night thinking about it. That doesn't tell us who killed the kids. It just tells us that he was on Alex was on the property. Yep. This case has taught me to expect the unexpected. I would not be surprised if when these charges come out, um, maybe they're straight up murder. We just don't know. Yeah. We have no idea. So we just assume. Yeah, so. and with the what these charges like with the names JJ Tiley and Tammy, that's yeah. when we're like, okay, right. here we go. There was something in the autopsy, and well, and, uh, yeah, and we we've said this so many times, but remember, it was said that even if the autopsy came back inconclusive, there may be enough digital evidence for murder charges. So things like that, maybe you do go to a grand jury if there's not solid evidence for Tammy in that autopsy that she was murdered, but you've got the digital stuff yeah maybe that's why you go to a grand jury because they're going to indict and then that just gives prosecution more time to build their case because we start over yeah. as far as the time yep um they have a right to a speedy trial they'll waive it and then this thing won't go to trial for two years 
Oh, yeah. If they don't plea. Yeah. Don't know. We don't know their state of mind at this point. It's been almost a year for Chad, a year and a half for Lori. We've heard rumors she's had a, a breakdown. So we don't know what all that is doing to their mind. And, and are they going to be, are they going to want to go before a, a, the world with yeah. all this? Because when this goes to trial, it's public. Exactly. We watch it. We watch every, you know, every time that court court opens and closes. Yep. So who knows? Um, but yeah, we really just don't have much more than this. We just wanted to kind of jump on and say a lot of people have been saying, oh my gosh, it's the 20th this past business hours. They're coming, y'all. Yeah. They're going to indict them. It's going to, um, my biggest question now is just murder or conspiracy. Yep. That's or the question. And will it be tomorrow or Monday? Or Yeah, I mean, I, I think in the next few days, I, I still think tomorrow because that way everybody goes home at, at five o'clock and they don't have to answer calls yep. all day long about this. I, I think Friday's a good day, Rob. Are you listening, buddy? Let's go. <laughs> Let's go tomorrow, Rob. drop it at five o'clock in the evening so you can just go home yeah, after this comes. Walk out and get in your car. And just, just say, okay, there's a gift for the weekend for all of you and I'm out. There you go. So we just want to say, don't worry. It's coming, y'all. They ain't had these people in jail for this long. And, you know, we, like I said, that little bit of DNA evidence that we heard about a couple of weeks ago shows us there's so much we don't know. And I'm sure that grand jury has heard some stuff that we would be shocked at. Yep. So we will keep an eye on it. If they uh, announce charges tomorrow, we will be back on. Yep. Tomorrow night we'll be back on. And... um the minute they come down, we're we're coming out. That's right. We'll be back online. All right, guys. Um, so we'll keep you up to date. We are watching that Idaho Judicial Cases of Interest website every 30 minutes <laughs> to see if anything gets posted. <laughs> yep. So as soon as we get a clue or, or hear about a any kind of an announcement, we will tweet it out, Facebook it. In the meantime, take a deep breath and know it's coming, y'all. Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to... Has anyone seen the bride and groom? Sorry, sorry, we're here. We were getting lucky in the limo and we lost track of time. <gasps> no, Lucky Land Casino, with cash prizes that add up quicker than a guest registry. In that case, I pronounce you lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Daily bonuses are waiting. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. With the Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details.